My name is Stan Mo. I'm the chairman of the committee here. It's what it amounts to is that 33 years ago, the owners of W.A. Thompson uh, decided they wanted to give back to the community, and they come up with the idea of putting together uh, food baskets at, at uh, Christmas time for a lot of these needy families that don't otherwise would not have a good Christmas meal. And we started with 25 baskets 33 years ago, and we're at 500 baskets that we give out now. And we've been there for several years now. And it, it's a matter of we get partners in the community either donate the food or donate money to help buy the food that we need to to fill up the baskets. And the W.A. Thompson opens this warehouse up to us and basically gives it to us for two days because we started putting all the stuff together yesterday, and today we deliver. And uh, they're very gracious. We're carrying on a... As she likes to put it, it, it's their Christmas. It's a legacy that her husband started, and when he passed, we just, we've just kept it going. And I've been here all 33 years, and and uh, Mary is very community-oriented, and, and uh, Trishel from W.A. Thompson. And so then we get to the police department and the sheriff's office have been involved because they're the ones that take the baskets and go deliver them. Because a lot of times we'll be on calls and... You know, we'll just kind of make note of it, like, hey, you know, I think this is a family that's in need, you know, of, um, you know, some gifts for the holiday. So um, we'll kind of just note it down and, and uh, make reference of it and refer them uh, for the basket drive. So, um, yeah, a lot of times they have no idea and then it's kind of a surprise to them. They think we might be looking for somebody inside the house or something. Or one of the family, I think that might have been a daughter of hers. Her first reaction was like, oh, wait, who, who are you looking for? It kind of immediately got defensive, but it's awesome kind of seeing them get relaxed and a sigh of relief once they realize we're here delivering Christmas baskets and, you know, we're not looking to go arrest anybody or anything like that, so. Uh, okay, how you doing? I'm Officer Nerdine. Yeah. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Uh, we just have some uh, some food here for you and the family, um, um, just from the Bakersfield Police Department. I'm looking at the phone, except police here. <laughs> Who was that? I said, I need to leave. Uh, what do they want? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys enjoy? So, yeah, there's a, there might be a few things. I know there's a turkey right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. is, so. Okay. So. No problem. Sure no, definitely no, no problem at all. Uh, hope you guys have a great Christmas. So the people in the community get a chance to see another side of law enforcement, the, the the humanitarian side, if you will, of law enforcement. It's not all about chasing bad guys. It's about providing back to the community. It gives them a chance to have a, a positive impact with the community and and give them a chance to have a nice holiday meal is, is what we hope for because it's got turkey and all the all the fixings and so on like that that they want to to make a, a good sized meal for a family at Christmas time and kind of spread a little bit of cheer and, and give them an opportunity to have fun times and at least they know they have a good meal for the holidays.